Hello, I am Father Joe Gambala, pastor of St. Malachi Catholic Church in Sterling Heights. Welcome to Lenten Reflections. Today is Sunday of the fourth week of Lent. The passage I have chosen for today is from the Gospel according to St. Mark, chapter 12, verses 41 to 44. As Jesus sat near the temple treasury, he watched the people as they dropped in their money. Many rich men dropped in a lot of money. Then a poor widow came along and dropped in two little copper coins worth about a penny. He called his disciples together and said to them, I tell you that this poor widow put more in the offering box than all the others. For the others put in what they had to spare their riches. But she, poor as she is, put in all she had. She gave all that she had to live on. I remember a guy I was with back at college at the University of Michigan. A pretty smart fellow, but a pretty proud guy. He was smart and he knew he was smart. He had plans for law school and a great career and saw himself someday on the Supreme Court. He hasn't quite gotten there yet. But I remember him saying, as it got close to graduation, he said, I am going to be a self-made man. I said, a self-made man? He says, yep, I did it all on my own. Now, I thought about that years later when I saw him at a reunion get-together. And he talked about, well, you know, I used to say I was a self-made man, but I got to say, I couldn't be getting as much as I got done if I didn't have a loving wife to support me. And I realize now that the tuition I paid for my education only covered about a third of the cost. Taxpayer paid for another third, and alumni donations paid for another third. And I've come to realize that maybe there's no such thing as the self-made man, but that we're all interconnected in some way. And I thought to myself and said, that is wisdom. We are all interconnected, but not just in terms of the world that we live in. We're interconnected spiritually. We've all been made in the image of God, and God loves us all equally. Mm -hmm.